In this video, we're going to have a look at how to manage the slider contents from an options page. So we're going to use free ACF. And in the previous video, I showed you how to set that up. So we'll just do a quick recap and then I'll show you how this works. So here I am on the home page and now I'm going to go to the options page and I'll deselect the decor and music, which is what we have there. And I'm going to select the um, hoodies. So now we'll just look to get the hoodies showing, update, head over to the website, refresh, and now we have hoodies in our slider. Go back to the options page. Maybe I want to add, uh, let's add some music to the hoodie selection and let's just see if anything comes up in the first three. So yes, we have the two music and the hoodie. Um, in this particular case, the um, you'll see that the second um, slider now um, just coincidentally also has the music but has t-shirts instead this is not controlled uh, from the front page so i'll show you how to do that and just one more uh, that we'll do here then is let's go for accessories so we'll update head over to the website refresh and now we'll have accessories on the home page followed by those two music and the t-shirt so these are two different um, uh, queries pulling in information so maybe we want to have accessories on the first one and the second one we want to have uh, hoodies so let's have a look and see how we can make that happen right um, just to recap then that options page which uses free acf is we created a custom post type and in that custom post type, we created uh, options pages. So we have the home page product slider, which is used to manage the slider, the address details, and then the site wide notices. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go to my snippets and we'll just um, delete that home page slider. And then what I'm also going to do then is go to the custom fields. And I've created a custom field here for the home page slider, and I'm going to trash that. So what we're going to do now is build this from, from the beginning. And I'm going to head over to my options pages and the home page product slider. We're going to trash that. Right. So to get started then, um, and then in bricks, of course, we need to remove that query. It's no longer valid. So we've removed the query. So now when we have a look at the home page, it's just going to go back to the default um, that we had previously, or maybe nothing because the query might be um, a little bit messed up. Right. Well, let's um, just refresh again. Right. So the default is back. And now what we're going to do is set up a, a, a selection here on the options page. So first thing we do, we, we're going to, in our custom post type that we created called options pages, we're going to add a new options page called the home, home page sliders. And I'll show you now while we, while we start here with this particular selection. And I'm just going to add the word new at the end so that we don't get confused with the previous one. So home page sliders new. The second step then is to head over to custom fields. And in custom fields, we need to create a, um, a new field group. So we'll add a new field group. And the new field group that we add will be, um, let's call it, um, well, home page sliders new. So let's save those changes. And then we need to create a custom field. So we're now going to create a, and we're looking for a taxonomy field type, and we'll call this new product categories. We don't want people to create terms. We do want to save the term with the post, and we do want to load the terms, and we do want to return the term ID. So those settings then will save the changes. And now what we'll do is we'll head back to the options page. Uh, but before we do that, we need to tell it to display this on the options page. So we're going to do, head over to the selection at the bottom. Post is equal to, and now all the posts are showing. So we scroll down until we see 
um, options page and we look for home page slide is new and we save the changes so that's why we make the page first is so that we can allocate the custom fields then i'm going to head over to the options pages and now on the options pages what i'm going to do is go to the home page slide is new and there you can see it's not the correct category so that just means going back to custom fields home page slide is new and then in the taxonomy type we select the product category so that's it and we save the changes and now we can head back to our options pages and we'll see the correct category layout so if you wanted normal categories just set it to categories we're doing product so we've changed it to product cat but it could be product tags as well so here we are inside the uh, bricks and in order to pull up that new um, taxonomy term that we've created i just need to or custom field selector we just need to reload bricks and then that information will be available and we'll head back to our slide so we just wait for that to load up and then right so we're going to be updating this so then we head over to the query and scroll down so taxonomy query um right so let's go to product category product categories then we're going to look for the field so we know well it will be a term id or we can look at the term taxonomy id either should work let's try the term taxonomy id then the terms that'll be the custom field now this isn't going to work because the custom field although i can add it here new product categories the categories are not assigned to uh, any particular page or post so when this query runs and it goes to find the um the terms it's not going to find any because it doesn't know to go to the options page so we need to write a quick function then to access those that information so to do that we um going to go to the okay we'll just go to our snippets and we're going to add a new code snippet so this will go um home page slider um, home page slider um, products something along those lines right let's go to function and by underscore um, slider products and now we just need to get the field so we'll say um, prod cat is equal to and it'll be a get underscore field so we'll need to get the field name and then because it's coming from a specific um, post inside the website we're going to need to get the id of that post so with that in place let's go over to the options pages and you'll see here um, on the home page slide is new we have the id here so we can copy that and we've got the id and now we need to get the custom field so i'm going to go back to custom fields here and let's go to home page sliders new and there we have the field name field name inserted and then return and we're going to return product cat and we're done right with that in place now we can save the changes and activate right and now we just copy the name of our function here and now we're going to go back to uh, the builder we're going to go back to that slide we're going to go back to our query and scroll down to the query and now what we're going to do is change the um, the terms because now what we're going to do is get them from a function so we can just search php look for output php function you'll see the echo command colon and then the um, name of the function and then save right so that should now be working 
um, and you'll see it is pulling through and it's the hoodies and if we go and have a look at the options page and we look at the home page slide as new you'll see that we selected hoodie so on the website now when i refresh the page then we'll see the hoodie so that's working um, if you wanted to and you could um, apply the same setting to the second slide now obviously um, that'll be an interesting scenario because this slide uses a different um, query although it's still accessing products but let's say we wanted it to run from the first one as well so what we'll do then is we'll come down and we'll say the taxonomy query and we'll go with um, product categories again and then we're going to go with the field be the term id um, and Now what we're going to look for is the PHP, output PHP function, echo, colon, and the name of the function. So now the second slider will pull in the same information. Now we don't want to be the two to be duplicated. So then at the top here, we have this offset. So we've set the offset to three. So that means that the first slider will then take the first three items and the second slider, the second three. So let's see how that works out. And we've saved that. So we've now refreshed the page. So we have the first three, and on the second page, there are none because there are no more hoodies. One category that has a lot of items is accessories. So now I'll go with accessories, update, head over to the website and refresh. And now we'll have the first lot of accessories on the first page. And the second lot of accessories on the second page in the same way we know that hoodies only has three items so then let's go with hoodies and t-shirts maybe they work well together update refresh the page and now we have hoodies and t-shirts together so that's how you can then use your um, use an options page to determine what m must appear then in your homepage slider. If you are using the uh, ACF Pro and you can create an options page, then you'll just be you'll be able to then just directly select the custom field or that yeah, um, as opposed to writing a function to output the values um, based on the custom field which is on a specific post page. Well, I hope that all makes sense. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.